finally, it's here. I have my Johnny Coda jumpsuit. This is one of the winning pieces from an episode of Making the Cut. So in this video, I'm just gonna be showing you what this garment is like, what I think about it. I'm gonna be trying it on. So like this video, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and let's get into it. Greetings Aqua fam, it is Ben Aqua, and if you're a fan of Making the Cut, which recently aired, well I guess it's still airing on Amazon, one of the contestants of Making the Cut made this awesome jumpsuit. This is a Johnny Coda jumpsuit that was available on Amazon Limited Edition. As soon as I saw this piece, I was like, I'm actually gonna go on Amazon to see if it's available, and I didn't think it would be, but it was available, and I got one. So I just got it in the mail today, I'm really excited. It took them about maybe over a month to send this, so that was a little weird, like it wasn't the usual Amazon on two day delivery or one day delivery or one second delivery that they usually do. But first impressions, I really like the quality of the fabric. I think the stitching is really beautifully done. The zippers look really nice. It has this really nice side stripe on each of the sleeves, which is kind of like a belt material. And it also has a straight up belt in the middle that's not stitched in, so you could take it out and exchange it out for different belts if you want. It also has these nice detailed pockets here, which I believe is a faux leather. The pockets have zippers. So there's two pockets at the top, and then there's also huge, even bigger pockets on each of the legs. As you can see, there's a Making the Cut logo on the tag on the inside, and then on the actual tag it says Making the Cut. But it's kind of weird because it doesn't say Johnny Coda anywhere, or Coda, whatever Johnny's calling his brand. I think it's just called Johnny Coda. And there's also no Amazon branding, which is also a little surprising, but I'm actually here for that because I didn't really want to walk around with something that said Amazon really big on it. So I'm glad they kept the branding pretty minimal. You don't see, you know, Making the Cut anywhere else on here. You don't even see Johnny Coda anywhere else on this piece, weirdly. Kind of weird considering the show was all about, you know, making this brand and this is the next big fashion brand, yet I don't see the actual brand other than Making the Cut, which is the name of the show, but it's not the actual name of the designer, which I think is actually more important to have. But you know, it's not a deal breaker. I still think this piece is actually quite beautiful. Here's the front again. You can see the two big pockets there. And then the back has this nice detail where it has like this kind of navy blue stripe. And the colors of the fabric look really nice. It has this kind of navy blue with white circle pattern on there. This is from one of the episodes where they were in Japan and taking in the streetwear. So I can definitely see like the Japanese influence, especially this almost looks like a Japanese um, construction worker outfit. If you've ever seen one of those or a service worker, they have these really amazing jumpsuits. And I think that was one of the inspirations if I remember correctly. I'm gonna stop talking about it and actually put it on. You can see what it looks like on a human slash humanoid body. Bam! All right, so I have the full garment on now. You can kind of see it almost head to toe. I styled it a little bit with my own hat here. And like I said, it does have this belt here. So I'm probably gonna have to think of a cuter way to actually tie it. This is really it. What do y'all think? You can see this awesome stripe over here, which I really like. Um, I did get the extra large size of this piece. So the XL fits me pretty well. It feels lightweight yet heavy. I don't know how else to describe that. Um, it definitely has some nice texture and the stitching, just like looking around everywhere on it, there's not really any flaws or anything weird sticking out. And the craftsmanship on this is really, really good. Like all the seams look very nicely sewed. It does feel a little heavy for like a summer usage. I can definitely see myself wearing this to like a gallery or outdoors when it's kind of coolish outside. But yeah, I really love the way it feels. I think the pockets down here are pretty cool. They almost feel like knee pads or something. Like the height of them is down by the knee. I don't know how useful these pockets might actually be because they're right at your knee. In order to walk comfortably with something in that pocket, you'd probably have to like almost hike it up a little bit. So the front pockets are pretty cool. They both have their own zipper, but this is really important. Where are you gonna put your phone? So I got my phone, this is the iPhone 11 Pro. Will it fit in there? Ah, oh, it fits in the pocket like a glove. So yeah, I actually really like the fit of it. It's not a stretchy fabric by any means, but it feels kind of baggy enough so that if you wanted to, you know, dance around in this or something, it definitely feels loose enough for something like that. I really like the style of it too. Like the color scheme is really cool. I like that it has this kind of navy blue with white going on. It goes well with black, I think, as well. And overall, I'm actually pretty satisfied with this and would feel very comfortable 
wearing this out and feeling really cute and ready to go, you know, do your thing. And partly I got it because I, I'm really curious about fashion merchandising and design and how kind of like this package of the TV show, how that translates to, you know, IRL, to the actual piece. Let me know in the comments what you think about this piece, but I actually really enjoy the design. It definitely has a Japanese flair to it. And being Asian myself, I appreciate the aesthetic of that. It doesn't feel like cringy or cultural appropriation-y. It just feels more like Johnny was genuinely inspired by Japanese culture and this is the output. So that's pretty much this video. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you also copped some stuff from making the cut, or what you think about that show in general. I think this piece for me personally definitely makes the cut. So let me know what you think in the comments. Smash that like button, subscribe to this channel. If you're not already, smash the notification bell if you're feeling kind of juicy. And also check out my music. Just search for Ben Aqua on Spotify or Apple Music or YouTube Music. You'll find all my stuff there. Follow me on there as well. And anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.